I know there was some cereal in here at one time. Is this box worth anything? Are empty boxes worth anything? Let's find out. Today we're going to talk about what's trending with vintage boxes, but we're going to think outside of the box. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. Before we get started here today, I have a drawing for you. Someone who watched one of my last videos won a jumping jack. And we're going to draw a name out of this cute owl cup. Let's find out who won. By the way, a jumping jack is a cell phone holder. And in some of my videos, I show this and tell you what the secret word is. So keep on watching. Maybe I'll give out one today. But first, let's draw from one of my last videos. Let's see who the winner is. I have a name. The winner is Sarah Butler. Sarah, if you're watching this video, please go down to the description below the video and email me, not comment, but email, well, you can comment on the video, but email me your mailing information. Congratulations, Sarah Butler. As you know, this year I've been occasionally doing what's trending videos, but specifically what's trending in vintage and what's trending on the search engines. And then I go to eBay solds and show you some items that you can be on the lookout for. B-O-L-O, BOLO, be on the lookout for, you know, as you're shopping for things to resell. And today we're going to talk about empty boxes. Now this box may not necessarily be in the video today. This is my husband's empty box and we haven't even researched it yet. But there'll be many other empty boxes, vintage empty boxes, that I'm going to show you what sold on eBay. Now I did pick a lot of auction items this time. And I did that because I kind of wanted to see how many people were bidding on the items. But even so, there's quite a variety of boxes and I'm excited to show you. Seriously, I learned a lot from this video when I put it together and I really am excited to show you what some boxes are worth. Vintage, empty boxes are worth. Let's get started. We're starting at $50 and up. This Atomic Fireball Red Hot Ferrara Pan Candy Company, an empty candy box, mind you, for Atomic Fireballs, sold for $51 and had six bids. You probably would expect Matchbox boxes. This is for an MG100 number 64, empty box only, sold for $51 with 10 bids. This is a vintage Corgi Toys box, number 264, for an Oldsmobile Toronado empty box, sold for $52.03 with eight bids. Would you ever think about picking up empty watch boxes? This is a vintage Rolex empty box for a woman's watch, missing the pillow, but it does have a few other items inside the box, but it sold for $50 with one bid. This is a vintage Ken box. It shows Barbie and Ken and Skipper on the box. It's actually a lot of two boxes, one for Skipper and one for Ken, sold for $58.77 with seven bids. I can tell you that I would never think of picking up a box that was empty for a Fisher Price toy, but this is for the little people, number 931, empty box. It was for a hospital, a children's hospital sold by Toys R Us, sold for $57 with 20 bids. That's a lot of bids. 20 bids sold for $57. This is an empty Pokemon box, trading card game box for Genesis, empty from the year 2000, sold for $69 with 11 bids. This is a vintage, vintage MPC Super Hemi, if I'm saying it correctly, empty box, says funny car on the box and it sold for $70.85 with 12 bids. This is a very popular box. I saw this several times and it's going for pretty decent money. This is a vintage 1920s Lionel outfit number 295 E for O gauge track train box, empty train box sold for $69.01 with 13 bids. From my research, pretty much any vintage train box will sell. Look out for them at garage sales. How about a rare vintage 1965 Topps baseball five cent featuring Mickey Mantle and it's 
again an empty box in very very poor condition if you look at the photos but it did sell for $70 with 17 bids plus shipping. I honestly never would have thought you could sell empty Star Wars boxes. You would think something would need to be in it first but nope these are from 1977 to 1997 and this lot of Star Wars vintage boxes, empty of course, sold for $71 with 19 bids. This is a lot of 15 empty Matchbox Cars boxes, it says Super Fast Lesney in the title, sold for $74.20 with 16 bids. At a glance, I wasn't sure what this box was, but as I read closer, it's a vintage Parker do a fold lucky curve box for a vintage pen and it did sell for $78 with eight bids can you believe that really $78 for a vintage Parker pen box I've never seen one but I'll be on the lookout Cracker Jack who doesn't love Cracker Jack I know I do but would you ever guess a vintage original 1960 Cracker Jack box would sell for $79 Yes, it only had one bid, but it only takes one. I thought this was a great sale. And the top was missing because, of course, you tear off the top to get into the box. You'd think for $79, you could at least get the Cracker Jacks with it. This is an original Nintendo console box, box only again, sold for $76.51 with 30 bids. That is a lot of bids. How about this ET 1985 cereal box? says it's featuring Michael Jackson. The box is not broken down and it comes with a coupon sold for $80 with two bids. This is a lot of two vintage Craftsman metal cases, uh, boxes, you know, for socket and ratchet tools. Yes, they're metal where most of the boxes I'm showing you are cardboard, but I thought it was really interesting that two of these vintage metal cases could sell for $84.78 with 11 bids. I pass by this kind of stuff all the time. Not anymore. This is a lot of 30 Lionel Vintage Assorted Post-War Empty Boxes. Lionel being train parts or components or small trains. Lionel being the brand known for trains. Sold for $81.80 with 12 bids. And they paid $26 in shipping. This is a Vintage Transformers G1 Deception Starscream 1984 empty box sold for $100 with 33 bids. Amazing. It's really no surprise that Lego boxes are showing up here. This is a vintage pirate uh, lot number 6285. It says Black Seas, Barracuda, and Castle. So it looks like we've got a couple of boxes here. Actually, three boxes for $93 sold with 20 bids and they paid about $25 in shipping. Love the graphics on this. Vintage 1963 Kellogg's OK's Single Serve. Single Serve, that means it's a tiny little box. Sold for $104.49 with three bids. I'm, I'm just speechless. Let's see if I can get this right. Tamiya Bruiser. I think original is spelled wrong, but vintage box, something about featuring a Toyota 4x4 pickup bruiser sold for hundred sold for one hundred three dollars and fifty cents with twenty-six bids for an empty box. Here's a vintage G.I. Joe Hasbro number 7400 Talking Adventure Team Commander, but no G.I. Joe inside. It's just the box. Sold for one hundred five dollars with twenty-four bids. How about this vintage Tonka toy box by Press Steel? It says it's number 422. It used to have a backhoe. It's empty now, but it's for the toy and it's near mint condition. Sold for $104.05 with 12 bids. I have my Barbie dolls, but I don't have the original boxes. This 1964 Skipper box sold for $122.89 and had 11 bids. Don't be afraid to pick up empty boxes if they're vintage, but there's more. Let's keep going. I had no idea until I did this video that vintage firecracker boxes could sell for so much. It says on here it's Lion brand and I think the graphics helped sell it. 
It says, little but oh my, what a noise. Hear them roar. Salute, salutes. So $127.50 with 19 bids. Now this was very unusual. A vintage Barbie number 1625 says it's a modern art shipping box circa 1965. To me, I would think that a bunch of Barbie dolls or Midge dolls came inside this box. It's just the shipping box from what I can see, but it sold for $126.39 with 17 bids. So what do you think so far? Are you surprised at what you're seeing? Empty boxes that sold on eBay? There's more. Our price range is climbing. Let's keep going. Here's a vintage alligator gold number eight sparklers box. Again, something to do with fireworks. Has great graphics sold for $137.50 with 15 bids. How about an old vintage 1950s to 1960s it says it's ESKA, I'm not sure what that means, but Carter, John Deere, Baylor, empty box for a farm toy. So if you have the farm toy, you can buy this and get your box to go with it. I like that they put a little note on there, empty box only. Okay, so how many buyers will buy this and expect the toy inside because they didn't read? Sorry, I digress. It sold for $137.50 with 37 bids. That's great. I never would have thought that golf ball boxes, empty golf ball boxes could sell. But this is vintage Walter Hagen getaway dozen golf balls, empty box, 1930s PGA Open Champion, sold for $144.50 with eight bids. Wonderful graphics on this. Vintage Savaski. I can't say this. Vintage Savaskasi. I can't say it. Can you say it? Bomb. Rocket, empty box, vintage fireworks box sold for $149.50 with 14 bids. Zippo showed up quite a few times in my search for vintage boxes. This is a lot of six empty Zippo lighter red flame boxes sold for $158.08 with 26 bids. How about this vintage Batman, five cents, 1966 tops, T-O-P-P-S, Sports wax box it says it's nice condition. It must be. It sold for $168.50 with 17 bids. Who doesn't like James Bond? Love James Bond movies. 007. AC Gilbert is the brand. Sold by Sears. And it's a slot car set empty box. Sold for $147.50 with three bids. I might just go into selling boxes and forget the toys. It'd be lighter to ship. Here we go again. Vintage Rare Antique Fireworks Cherry Bomb Salutes Ash Can. I'm not sure what all of that means, but it's something to do with fireworks, firecrackers, I guess. Winning bid $177 with 13 bids. Here's another empty watch box. I might even have some of these laying around. I need to check. I've got a bunch of old watches. I have to see if the boxes are worth more than the watches. Look at this. Vintage Hamilton electric wristwatch empty box sold for a whopping $230.27 with only two bids. I'm sure you expected baseball boxes to sell. This is 1963 tops again. Vintage authentic estate sale fine. They added into their title. Not sure if that matters too much, but it did sell for $217.50 with 15 bids. I wonder what they paid for it. Here's another small cereal box, vintage 1960s General Mills. It's a corn kicks box and it's a single serve. So it's only three quarters of an ounce. Wow, $229.48 with five bids. That is amazing. And then we have this rare vintage 1964 Don Russ Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea it says five cents on it and it sold for, as you see, $249.99. It only takes one bid. That's all they needed and it sold. Here's a vintage MPC kit, number 706, a rare 1968 Dodge Fever Bee funny car. It's empty. Sold for $259 with 25 bids, plus shipping. Wow. 
And here's a Star Wars Vintage Kenner box, Millennium, Falcon, and more. This is a lot for two boxes, two Star Wars boxes, sold for $213.50 with 40 bids. Tricks are for kids and resellers too. This General Mills 1960s Tricks box, single serve size again, only three quarters ounce, sold for, are you sitting down, $326.19 bids. $326. <laughs> Are you getting where I'm going with this video? Empty boxes can have value. Here's a rare vintage Pokemon Neo Discovery First Edition empty box sold for $335 with 10 bids. Here's a vintage 1960s original Mebitoys A1 Fiat 850 empty box and it sold for $360.99 with 27 bids. Are you shocked yet? We keep climbing this 1979 Kenner Alien 18-inch figure box with nothing inside, sold for $383 with, what do I see here? 18 bids, amazing. We're not done, here's the Adams Family Rare 1964 Don Russ, the Adams Family, five cent box for trading cards sold for $414.99 with one bid. I used to love the Adams Family. How about you? Here's a lot of 14 Lesney Matchbox empty boxes. I like how they put minty and look. Um, not sure if those are searchable keywords, but sold for $426 with 17 bids. But somebody looked for these and someone won. Here's a Lego lot of empty boxes. No pieces, just town and pirates and castle and space. Sold for $461 with 33 bids. Seriously, seriously, what do I say to that? That is just unbelievable. This graphic antique Lionel Train empty box. It says it's post-war, just an empty box that I bet you a bunch of trains came in. Sold for $461.77 with 13 bids. This American Girl doll, seven empty boxes with tissue, three bags. Sold for $483.78 with 10 bids. I wonder if we have one of these lying around. 1985 Kellogg's OJ's Orange Taste Cereal an empty box. They say this is rare. I believe them. Sold for $587 with only six bids. Here's a rare vintage Mattel Hot Wheels box. Again, it looks just like a shipping box and probably had a bunch of Hot Wheels inside. Sold for $549.99 plus shipping. This was a buy it now and I had to show it to you. So even the shipping boxes can be worth a lot of money. Are you an empty box believer now? Hope so. Be on the lookout when you go to yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, church rummage sales. Be on the lookout wherever you go. If you like these kind of videos, I appreciate a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Check out my other videos. I think I'm over 170 some. I keep saying 150, but I have over 170 videos. I'm losing count and I have playlists for videos. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. To enter the drawing for an orange jumping jack, enter JJO with your comments.